You see these hands right here? Well, six years ago, these hands had the opportunity to do something truly special. At least something that I feel was truly special. But hold on, hold on. Before I reveal what that something special was, I want to mention that far too often we fail to express and acknowledge to our loved ones the positive attributes and things that we love about them. And as parents, we can get in the rut of being in a mode of constant correction and criticism and fail to express to our children how important they are to us. We all need to hear how much we're loved and appreciated and hear about the positive qualities that we do possess. Everyone needs to hear that. In the past year or so, this has really been on my mind. So much so, I decided to finally do something about it today. And with this, all this in mind, I've written a letter to my firstborn son, Josiah. Dear Josiah, the moment we met was truly a special moment in my life. As mommy was giving birth to you, I was right there at her side along with the midwives. And as you began to enter the world, I had one of the most memorable moments that a father could have. And that was to be the first to catch and hold you and then present you to mommy. Every day you make mistakes, but heroes know that's what it takes to find themselves to save a friend, discover true love in the end. When you're down, you close your eyes. Build a raft of all the lies Float your troubles out to sea Be the best that you can be Now it is hard to believe that six years have passed since that day my hands first held you. Hey baby, hey baby, you wanna play? You want to play? You want to play? He knows, uh -huh. we'll play with him. <laughs> hey, Josiah. Hey. Uh oh. Here he comes. Up he goes. I know that time seems to pass so slowly for you right now, and some things seem to take forever to happen. But believe it or not, the older we get, the faster time seems to go by. These things I wish for you. And as you're growing, it has been a wonderful experience to see your personality and character develop. Always listen to your heart. Make your thoughts a work of art. Climb the mountain if you like, but come back down with more than And ever since you saw my old bodybuilding pictures and video not too long ago, you seem to out of nowhere take your shirt off and begin flexing and posing your muscles, trying to imitate me. And I can't help but smile when I see this. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. We're better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't trench your desiring what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard to get there, and we might, we might be lost, but not forever. And it is an honor and special feeling to know that someone in this world aspires to be like me. And knowing this makes me want to continue to be a better person for you and your siblings. Josiah, you have such a tender and caring heart. And this is one area that I wish that I was actually more like you. There have been times when others have been hurt and you are almost always right there to see if they are okay and there to see if you can help in any way. You are also such a generous person. It is always a joy to see how giving you are. You are constantly offering to share whatever it is that you have with others. At snack and meal times, you are so quick to share your food with everyone. Sure, thanks. Yeah. And being a giver is truly a great character trait and you possess it. Over the past few months, you have become such a hard worker. I know sometimes you may not want to help me transplant veggies or water plants, but most of the time, once you start, you go the extra mile in doing whatever it is that I ask. You have also really excelled in your schoolwork lately. You are such a natural reader. I think you are a better reader at your age than I was at your age. Congratulations on turning six years old. Mommy and I are so proud of you and who you are becoming. I love you, buddy, and pray that God would continue to grant you wisdom and protection. Love, Daddy. P.S. Great job on breaking your personal record of seven push-ups on your toes. By the time you're seven years old, you will probably be able to do 14 push-ups. Well, I only cried and had to wrestle tears back a couple of times when I was writing this letter to Josiah. My only hope is to, in sharing this letter is to encourage others and encourage myself to express to those special people around us the positive attributes that we see in others to let them know how important they are to us. So, all of you out there, make sure you take time here soon to let somebody know that's special to you, that you love, your spouse, your child, your parent, whoever. Let them know how much you appreciate them, how important they are to you, and let them know specifically certain qualities that you see in them that you appreciate and how much those qualities bless you and bless the world. Well, that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. I love you. I give you everything you want me to. Think about it if I could. I put down the Separated rainbow colors